and gives Empty one more stop in North Adams to bring you the tale of Museum of Dog. Puppy portraits, canine collectibles, rare ready-mades of doggy design. 8,000 square feet of a doggone good time. This was carved from one piece of wood. David York amassed all this over a career of running doggy daycares and hotels. There's sitcom art. It was hanging in Central Perk on the Friends set. Collars from the 1800s. Some are crude and the European ones are a little more fancy. Even RCA icon Nipper is here. I have about 600 pages of documents that go, go with this. On a trip to Mass Mocha, York noticed the historic Quinn's wallpaper and paint shop was being sold. He figured this was the perfect spot for his treasures to sit and stay a while. Special rooms are devoted to York's own pets, past and present. His dog Daisy's penchant for chewing is on display for visitors viewing. David tells me this is subtractive sculpture. The world is so crazy right now and the dogs provide such consistent uh, love and enjoyment. York advertises by driving around docks and limousines. They seem to work. We will have 50,000 visitors through here this year. Soon though they'll be hitting the road to serve as traveling Instagram museums. People will get in and, and come out with an amazing set of incredible colorful photographs. And York promises a tail wagging time will be had by all. Oh my gosh. <laughs> and those limo tours begin next month. Yeah, they're going to go all over the country, <laughs> including stops in Massachusetts. Then the museum will close for the winter, but it's so popular it'll come back next year to Pittsfield, May 2019. Right. That is Chronicle for tonight. I'm Shana Seymour. And I'm Anthony Everett. Thanks for joining us. Have a great evening. Hope to see you back here tomorrow night at 730.